Five o'clock in the morning. I got school at eight. Got to go to school. I'm getting ready for that. Just got to do a test today. So the election was last night. Presidential election. Um, I was watching it, but I fell asleep. So I didn't get to see who won. But when I, after, when I fell asleep, excuse me, Trump was winning by a landslide. And I, was, I already could see just from the scoreboard last night before I went to sleep, I was like, yeah, Trump Trump is about to take the win. And I already had a feeling he was going to win anyways. And um, for the feminist women out there, you ain't got to worry. I'm pretty sure Kamala Harris will make a comeback in the next four years and she'll try to run again. And I think she'll win um, after, after um, Trump is done with his next four years after he's done. I'm pretty sure Kamala's will run again and, uh, and she'll win. Excuse me, Kamala Harris. She'll run again and she'll win eventually. So y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. She'll make it to the Oval Office eventually. I don't think she's done. She'll she'll make a comeback. But um, she would be terrible for America. And she's the exact reason why you got men like me who got their passports ready. And we're not about to deal with relationships or marriage or women in America. Because Kamala Harris is clearly a modern day feminist. You got modern day feminists that are upset. <laughs> that Kamala lost. Literally, I just logged in on YouTube because I wanted to see who won the election. So I get on YouTube. As soon as I log in on YouTube, I seen it. Trump wins. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, I, I had a feeling he was going to win anyways. I kind of knew that. You know what I'm saying? Just from the scoreboard last night, Trump was whooping her ass. Whew. Um, and yeah, people already had a feeling that was going to happen. A lot of people who voted for Biden... They voted for Trump this 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 go around. You know what I'm saying? I think more people are starting to open their eyes and realize that the Republican Party is the better option, even though they're both garbage. The Republican Party is still slightly better than the Democratic Party. But I just seen some women upload. I'm not even going to say their names, but y'all got these videos talking about if Kamala Harris loses, women's rights will be on pause it's like, then I just seen, um, I just reposted it on my community tab. Um, shout out to her, um, a YouTuber. Her name is Danica Marie. Um, some women like to call her a pick me just because she makes content like sticking up for men. Um, and she just reacted. She made a reaction video to this uh, Kamala Harris commercial. And you got Kamala Harris, but yeah, sums it up. She's a modern day feminist. Y'all are trying to push this narrative. You got Kamala Harris and you got these modern day feminists trying to push this narrative that women's rights are going to be on pause and women don't have rights. And, 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 and what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Y'all got y'all rights back in the 70s. After the civil rights era ended and segregation ended, that's when the women got their rights. You can vote now. You have the right to vote. You have the right to get whatever type of career you want to get as long as you meet the requirements. You can get whatever career you want to get. You want to be a lawyer. You want to be a doctor. You want to be a judge. You want to be an actress. Anything you want. You want to be a a, 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 a WNBA star. You want to be a professional boxer, a professional athlete. You can do whatever you want to do. So you got women in other countries who actually don't have as many rights as men. Some countries in the Middle East, women actually get abused. Like, they literally get abused. They literally got it bad. And you got spoiled-ass women in America still crying and complaining even after they get everything they asked for. Did you realize that America is slowly, slowly but surely becoming a matriarchal nation? Like, women run this country at this point. A woman can get on Instagram and shake her behind and become a millionaire within the next five to ten years. She'll definitely be a millionaire as long as she looks good enough. She could make an OnlyFans. She can make a Patreon. She can make a YouTube and just blow up. But as a man, I got to put in way more work than that woman. So that's the reality of the Western world. And this is why men like me, real masculine men, we ain't about to deal with this shit. We about to get on that plane. We about to go to the Dominican Republic. We about to go to Brazil. We about to go to Japan. We about to go to 
Philippines. We about to go to uh, Europe. We about to go to Africa. We about to we about to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like men like me who are, who got some fucking sense. We ain't about to deal with this shit. I'm not about to deal um, with having a president who's spreading the narrative that women do not have rights in this country. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. These women are way too entitled. You women are way too spoiled. That shit really just disgusted me. That shit really just... And I had a feeling Kamala Harris was some type of feminist. I just wasn't sure. But now after I just logged in on YouTube this morning... (laughs) Trash. Kamala Harris is pure trash. And any of you women who are trying to make this claim that women don't have rights... And now women's rights are going to be on... Man, man, go sit your goofy ass down, man. Go sit your goofy ass down, man. See, this is why I'm getting on a plane, though. This is why I'm getting on a plane, though. Feminism was successful, okay? The original feminist movement. Now, I'm not talking about this modern-day shit. This modern-day feminist movement is disgusting. See, this is a brand-new wave of feminism. It's just trash, it's disgusting, and it doesn't even make sense. The original feminism succeeded in what it was looking to do. And now, fast forward, you still got women crying and complaining over something that they're not even going through. See, women back in the day, they actually were going through shit. Dealing with men, abusive men, dealing with men being abusive, you know what I'm saying, and taking advantage of good women, you know what I'm saying? That was back in the day. I understand that feminism. That feminism, I can understand to a degree. I don't agree with all of it, but I do agree with it to a certain extent. But this modern day feminism, trash, pure trash. Okay. And I'm not with that whole women and men are, I'm not with that. I know you got some women who say they're not feminist and that they're uh, egalitarian or something like that. The idea that men and women are equal. No, we're not equal. We're not equal, man. We can't be. How? It's like saying five and ten are equal. And I'm not saying men are better. That's not to say men are better or women are better or one is less and one is greater. That's just to say that we got different roles. We got different things we do. As men, we we, 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 we play a whole different role. And a woman, she plays a whole different role. When you play the game of chess... You're not going to say that the king and the queen are equal. The king and the queen are not equal. The queen is more powerful, but the king is more important. If you lose the king, the game is over, but the queen is more powerful. As in she can move across the board in whichever way she sees fit. She can move as many pieces as she wants, as many pieces on the board as she wants. She can take out whoever she wants. She can do what she wants. She can run around the board all day. Diagonal, across, forward, front. Backwards, side to side, she can do whatever she wants. But you can have multiple queens, and if you lose your queens, the game is still on. It ain't game over yet. But once you lose that king, it's game over. So, no, the king and the queen are not equal. You know what I'm saying? They're not. (laughs) But, anyways, (laughs) I'm glad Trump won that election. Um, I had a feeling he was going to win anyways. Um, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump either. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of either one of them like that. But I would rather, much rather have Donald Trump than Kamala Harris. Hell, I'd rather have Joe Biden than Kamala Harris, God damn it. Like Kamala Harris, like I said, clearly. Um, and word on the street is, is she's not even half black. I don't know how true that is, but word on the street is, is she's only like a quarter black. <laughs> I guess like her father was mixed race or something, so she's not even as black as she claims to be. Well, supposedly, I don't know for sure. I don't know. I don't really care. I mean, she is mixed with black either way, so she would be another uh, non-white president, which is, you know, cool and all that. I'm saying, but I mean, she was vice president for four years, so, you know, we got her. We got it already. And then we had Obama, so we don't we don't need Kamala Harris. Um, She's garbage. Um, sorry to the feminist women out there and your feelings about it. Oh, well, um, they actually have women in other countries who actually need a feminism, some type of feminism movement because they're actually going through real shit. You know what I'm saying? The women in America are entitled. They're spoiled, rotten. Okay. And y'all disgust me. 
you know, just the fact that you would even say some shit like that really just like disgusted me. And I'm disgusted with um, American Western women right now. I got to keep it real. I'm disgusted with y'all. 